have you ever walked into a store that's overwhelmed your senses? Well, let the smell of cider and cinnamon waft over you like a wave at Bennett's Apples and Ciders. We're here with Carrie. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? So good. Tell good. us about the history of this farm. Well, um, our great grandfather bought this farm in 1911 and now the fourth generation are, are owning and operating it and fifth generation are working and sixth generation are crawling around. <laughs> Perfect. What is it like to be a part of a farm that's been around for like over a hundred years? It is amazing. You know what? It has been a legacy that has been been handed down to us. It's not just the hard work that we're doing right now, which is a lot of hard work, but it's the generations that before us. So it, it is it's amazing to be able to continue this on and hopefully hand it down to the next generation. Which is so nice that it's been around in your family for so long. Yeah. So you have both names in your title, so it's apples and cider. Let's talk about those two things. With the apples, you've got a wide variety of them. How many apples do you have here? We grow about 26 different varieties of apples, from sweet to crunchy to good for baking and good for eating. So everybody's choice, we've got it here. Mm -hmm. And your cider, which is Ontario loved, what goes into making a fresh pressed cider? We use probably about four or five different varieties just to get a nice blend. Um, you don't want to overpower it with the one kind. So uh, we mix it up and then, and this year, uh, something really neat that we've been doing is uh, named after our father, Paul Jack, and it is five different flavors of our sparkling um, cider that comes in the individual can. So we're excited to launch that new product. Not only do you grow apples here, but you grow an assortment of things. Tell us what else you grow on this farm. Uh, like I said, we like you said, apples. We also do uh, sweet corn. We have our about six, seven different varieties of squash. We have even heirloom squash. Um, and then we get into our pumpkins and gourds and corn stalks and our decorative corn. So a bunch of different things. And the best part is you're not just open during the fall season, but you're open year round, which is exciting. What's in your store back there? In, year round, we, we start bringing in our, uh, at Christmas time, our famous Nana Bennett shortbread. And we also have our Christmas trees all outside and Christmas planters. Um, so it is year round. Apple themed all year round. Yes. I love that. Well, I'm excited to try some things and visit the bakery. Awesome. You are a part of the Bennett family and you overlook all the baked goods here. Yeah. What is it like to work here and what are we doing today? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make our signature uh, apple crumble pie um, and the process that goes into that. And we're also gonna talk about a lot of the baked goods that we have here. Yeah. We have our own uh, fresh cheese bread, apple bread, and our famous apple cider donuts are always a favorite for everyone. And apple cider donuts, I've never heard of those before. How do you come up with all of these apple themed desserts? Well, apple cider donuts originated with my father-in-law many years ago. Uh, we've been still using the same recipe today, all these years later, just doing some changes. We do blueberry, uh, maple dip now. Um, yeah, and we're gonna be starting uh, pumpkin cream cheese, hopefully very soon. <laughs> that, it's, my mouth is watering yeah. right now. All right, so let's get into this apple pie. Yeah. What is the first step? The first step is obviously start with your pie shell. We fill up with so many apples. And then we're gonna add our signature um, sugar mixture. Okay, yeah. So you put it in there, just a half a cup. Then you can put your little dollop of butter on top. Okay. And I'll Whoop. take mine. There and then we're gonna add some apples right on top. There's no, just so that they're all on there. And it's gonna weigh two pounds. Okay. So then cool. we'll. For those of us that like to make pies at home, what goes into making a really good apple pie? Well, I think you gotta start with a, a good baking apple. Um, I would generally recommend, if you can get them, a spy apple. We use a lot of Ida Reds. Um, Crispins also make it a good pie. Basically, your favorite apple will make the kind of pie you like to eat, so. Got it, and the yeah. apples you should get from here. Your staff here must love this environment. It really is a family environment here. How do you love working here? Um, it's It's been a real blessing to be a part of the family. Um, and I think the real neat thing about it is that when you're talking to customers, you see generational people coming in. So you have grandparents, parents, uh, and then their kids. So they be, include Bennett's as their tradition. So yeah, that's I a lot of fun. That. So good. All right, 
Let's weigh our pie. Okay, so we're gonna weigh the pie. Looks good. And this is where we add our signature crumb topping. We just smother the pie with the crumb topping. To sprinkle it all over? Absolutely. All right. You oh, never wow. wanna pack it because it'll just get super hard. You just let it just like that and it bakes for about two and a half hours. And plop it in the oven? Plop it in the oven. Okay, so let's do that with wine. <laughs> get it nice and loaded. And we'll get you more crumb for yours as well. There we go. You can put yours beside there. And then we'll stick them right in the oven. See you in two hours, apple pie. If you want to try out their pies or any of the baked goods they have here today, make sure to check out Bennett's Apples and Cider.